Hello. Didn't see you come in. I'm Monty Cook. This is lame. Hello, I'm Monty Cook. You might remember me from such games as Dungeons and Dragons 3rd Edition and Hero Clicks. You sound like a Simpsons character. Okay, guys, let's just do this. I'm Monty. I'm the creator of the Numenera tabletop role-playing game. It's going to be coming out this summer. And I'm very excited about that. But I'm also very excited to be working with an exile to help them to create uh, Torment, Tides of Numenera. Now, Brian and Colin and all the other guys have asked me to come and talk with you a little bit about the setting. The setting that we've created for Numenera is called the Ninth World. And the Ninth World is interesting for a lot of reasons. But I think one of the main reasons, and one of the reasons that it fits so well with the idea of Torment, is that it is a setting that is about mystery and the unknown. Uh, it's not the kind of setting where we lay everything out for you and tell you exactly the way things work and explain everything with minutia detail. Instead, it's, it's a place more of wonder and just incredible things and questions, right? Where did this come from? How did we get here? You know, it's, it's, it's an important aspect to it. And so that means that gameplay in both the tabletop version and in uh, Torment is about discovery, right? It's about learning new things about yourself, about the world, about the past. So the people of the Ninth World, they use the relics of the past that they find lying all around them. And they use that to build a better future for themselves. Now, the people in the Ninth World have sort of divided the, at least as much of the world as they know into two sections. The first is called the Steadfast. The Steadfast is a, a more settled area. There's still plenty of unknown, still plenty of mystery, but it's, it's organized into nine different kingdoms, each with its own separate ruler. However, kind of watching over the entirety of the Steadfast is a faction called the Order of Truth and its leader, the Amber Pope. Beyond the Steadfast is the region called the Beyond. And the Beyond is a, a vast wilderness that is even less civilized, even less safe than the Steadfast. And if anything, is even filled with more strange mysteries and ancient ruins and things that, that people can't explain. Sometimes they're, they're dangers like terrible, horrible creatures, crag worms and ab humans and all kinds of dangerous things like that. But um, sometimes they're just weird things that people come upon and they can't really explain. Mysterious towers uh, composed of something that's not quite metal but not quite stone. Um, you know, floating islands in the sky with strange structures built upon them. How do you, how do you even reach such a place? Uh, the, the Ninth World is filled with things like that and the beyond in particular where the people uh, live in isolated communities. And uh, each one of these is surrounding uh, what's called a clave of Aeon Priests. And the Aeon Priests are the, the people who understand the, the, the past the best. They understand what's called the Numenera. Uh, and the Numenera is, is anything that is a relic of the past. And obviously that's where the game gets its name. And so uh, the Aeon Priests understand these mysteries at least a little bit, better than anyone else, certainly. And therefore, they kind of have taken on sort of a leadership role, in, particularly in these isolated villages. Now, the game of Numenera itself, the game system, is designed to be very streamlined and, and fast, um, character creation is meant to focus more on the, the narrative and story aspects of your character than um, 
a lot of uh, numerical things, although, you know, obviously the game has, has stats too. But um, when you design your character, you don't start with uh, a lot of numbers. Instead, you start by creating a sentence that describes your character. And uh, sometimes we say uh, a character is a blank, blank, who blanks. In other words, you could be a crafty jack who explores dark places. And a jack in Numenera is kind of a jack-of-all-trades type character. There are also glaives, which are warriors, and nanos, which are people who command strange powers. And, uh, but, so those are the three main character types. That's sort of the noun of the sentence. But there's also the adjective of the sentence, which is the descriptor, right? That's canny or strong or crafty or swift, right? And it kind of describes how you go about things in the world. And then that last thing is the focus, right? The, uh, you know, the, 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 the sort of the verb, well, the, the thing that you do. So um, if you are a strong glaive who masters the blade, then you are someone who really focuses on swordplay. If you are a swift nano who rides the lightning, then you are someone who probably has some kind of mysterious electrical powers. And Numenor is filled with things like that, all kinds of strange supernatural powers that can come from any number of sources. Um, some of them you might not even fully understand until you more fully explore your own character. You might not actually know where these abilities come from. Numenera, then, is a game about mystery and the unknown, and about the discovery of all sorts of weird wonders and amazing things. I hope you'll join us on this discovery. We're really excited about this game, and I think you're going to like it.